Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for automation testing series. In this tutorial, we will be learning about JSON module in Python. So let's begin. JSON module in Python is basically a built-in library which allows you to work with the JSON. So JSON is commonly used in the API responses, configuration files and the test data. So as the automation testers, you often need to parse the JSON responses. You need to validate the data or generate the JSON payloads for your API request. So that's why you need to know how to use this particular library. And when we talk about this JSON library, there's some key functions like json.load, json.loads, json.dump, json.dumps. So there's slightly difference. So when we talk about json.load, so it basically says that it will read JSON data from a file. When we talk about json.loads with S, is parses a JSON string into a Python dictionary. And when you talk about JSON term, so it will write a Python object to a JSON file. And when we talk about JSON terms, it will convert the Python objects into a JSON string. Okay, so let me go here and let me create one new Python file. Let me name it as JSON module. And in order to use this one, so what I did is that I already have a sample payload over here in terms of JSON, which I will use for this one. And let's go back here. The first thing you need to do is that you need to import this JSON. So simply write import and JSON. Okay. So for example, your API gives you a response. Okay. And this response is in the terms of the JSON okay and let me copy this sample JSON over here and go back here and provide that here okay so as you that you got this response in the API now what you need to do is that you need to parse the JSON string into a Python dictionary okay so what I need to do is that simply I will say data is equals to JSON dot loads. Okay. And inside this, I will pass this response. Okay. And when I uh, print this one, let's print this data and see what happens. So let me run this file. So you see that this particular JSON has been printed, but the difference is that this data is now parsed into a Python dictionary. Now, once it is, has been parsed, what I can do is that because now it's a dictionary, so I can access the specific fields. Okay. So if I go here, you see that we have this ID, we have theme, we have email, right? And status and rules. So let's uh, go here and access these elements so simply i will go with the print statement directly and in order to access the user id so i will say data so from data we have user and inside that user we have a id okay so data and inside that we have user and then we have id right so in this way we can access this user id so if i run this one so you see that the id one two three has been printed now if we want to access the name and name is also here inside the user so simply what i will do so let me go back here and instead of id simply i will say name and run this one so you see that the name has been printed now when we talk about the roles so you can also access the first role so here we have uh, multiple roles admin editor okay so how we can access this one so this is really simple let me copy this one and print this one here and so what i will do is that so inside this data we have roles and inside role i need the first role so how i can get a first role so basically it's the index based 
So I just need to provide an index. Okay. So let's provide the index and run this one. So you see that we got the admin and we have that other role editor, which is on index one. So when I provide the one over here, now this time the editor will be printed. So that's how you can actually access the JSON different values. Okay. Now what we can do is that we can read the JSON from a file. Okay. So what I'll do is that simply I will go here and create one new file and let me copy this JSON and let me name this file as test underscore data. So in some cases you need to have a file where you have a test data in the form of JSON. Okay. So you need to read this one. So simply I will name it as test underscore data dot JSON. Okay. And inside this, I will paste this my JSON and save this file. Okay. Now what I'll do is that I need to access this file. I need to read this file. So we have already learned that how we can read the file using this open function. So what I'll do is that let me remove these lines of code from here and simply I'll say with open and I need to provide the path of the file which is test data because we are studying the same folder. So test data and dot with the extension test data dot json. Now I need to open this in a read only mode. So the character which is used for this one is basically this R. Okay. And we need to provide this R inside the course. Okay. And I will say as file. And now I will say load underscore data equals to simply JSON dot. Then we have this load. Okay. And inside this, I need to provide the file. Okay. Because it will load this JSON file. And now uh, we can, once it will be loaded, what we can do is that simply if I say this print and inside this, if I say load underscore data and if I run this one, so you see that the data which, which actually is in the file, now we can access this. Actually, we have read the file and now using this function, we have opened the file and read this one and printed this one over here. And once you have this one, you can assert, you can use in your test data, you can parameterize your test. So let's go with simple assert over here and I'll say load data and inside this, I will say, for example, I need to assert user and then I'll say inside user, we have name and I say name is equals to, for example, I will say testing wonder. So, which is not true, which this assertion should fail. Okay. And if I run this one, you will see that the assertion will fail because this is not equal to this one. And if I go here, so this is the name, the me name. And if I go back here and if I provide this one here and if I run this one, so this time it should pass. So once you read the JSON file, you can parameterize your test. You can set the configuration. You can pass this JSON to your API request. You can assert the API responses. So that's why you need to know how to use this JSON library. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.